What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your boy, Kareem, a.k.a. 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Man, y'all know what it is. First and foremost, I want to give a shout-out to all the people who've been rocking with me, man, supporting me. You guys been great. Continue doing that. Your boy is like uh, 50, a little under 50 subscribers short to reaching a big 3,000. We need that by this weekend. Hopefully by Sunday we wrap it up. Um, pop a little bottles. Y'all know how we do. And also, um, we'll be doing something nice for the people now let's get to it let's get to it first and foremost i want to give a shout out to sports critic um goat mike and everybody else who out there making content what we do is not easy we put in a lot of work um a lot of time out of our day away from different things what we could be doing so we definitely need you guys support i definitely appreciate that now let's get down to business um this is not a rumor but this is suggesting this is what my my homeboy said he think that uh Nine times out of ten, he said he, he could see that uh, Sacramento Kings will approach the Lakers and ask for Westbrook in that first round pick. The Sacramento Kings, um, thirsty, thirsty to make the playoffs. They really, really want to make the playoffs. Um, that's their goal, been their goal for, for a lot of years now. Um, they really want to make the playoffs. They feel they have a better chance of making the playoffs with Westbrook because, um, you know, Westbrook, that's one thing he, he uplift teams. Uh, but what he was saying makes sense because at first I was like, what? But De'Aaron Fox got a tremendous, tremendous, big, big, big contract. Um, he's getting a lot of money, and he's not living up to the expectation what the Kings have for him. Uh, they got some bonus. Um, so he feel that with Westbrook, for that one year, with that big salary, that big contract um, coming off the books, that Sacramento can um, retool and think about other plans, move off of that. And um, it's not far-fetched, people. I know people, first thing you think about De'Aaron Fox and people is low on Westbrook. First thing y'all say, why would Kings do that? But think about it like this. For one, a lot of these teams, if you look at it lately, a lot of organizations been getting off a lot of these um, young players. Guys who've been in the league three, four years, two years. You see, Lakers got off of D'Angelo De uh, Russell at the second year. This is a lot of teams I don't have time to go into uh, details on a lot of different um, players that happened to, but I could easily see that happening um, with, with Westbrook now that he said it makes sense. Um, but I don't know if the Lakers gonna wanna do that. Cause Darren Fox, he got maybe like at least three years after this. So um, the Kings are motivated. They wanna get off the uh, salary. And um, I definitely can see that happening. Um, also, I know the Lakers very interested in Colin Sexton. I think the Lakers may go that route. I, I'm not sure. I don't, you know, but um, he said it was the best thing the Lakers did not um, trade in Westbrook. I mean, trade in that first round pick. He said you're going to see how many better players, young players, that's much better that the Lakers going to be able to get the summer or going to be an option for the Lakers. That's on the Lakers if they decide to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's what it is. These trees, it's gorgeous. Look at these trees, y'all. Look at this tree here. It's full of ice. I don't know if y'all can see it. This tree got, it's full of ice with this tree here. You know, um, my, my car was full of ice. I had to put the 190 to uh, melt it. This tree is beautiful. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy. Oh, shit. Look, it's a big bunch of big ice. Ice been melting, falling down, because now the sun is out. But it's been crazy uh, last night until early this morning. Like, subscribe, peace.